And that's what really being in transition is about, that we're in the transition collectively in our whole world from a way of experiencing life which looks in terms of separation, feels in terms of separation, that we're all isolated fragments striving, competing, making, having to make an effort. Life is an effort. Um, life is tough. We're moving from that sense of isolation to a new paradigm of interconnectedness where we know that we belong, that we're all part of something much bigger, that we're all cells in the body of humanity, if you like, or that we're cells in the body of the earth or in a hot cosmos, that we belong here, that we're part of this, that we are life. So that's the transition that I'm talking about. I'm talking about transition from the old world, the old paradigm world, to a whole new world. A world which is being created right now by people who are growing into our wholeness. And I think this is the first time in the history of humanity when there's been large numbers of people all over the planet who have been making this shift in consciousness. And one of the things, of course, that makes it easier for do, to do this is that we now have the internet which connects us all so that we can pass information between us very, very fast. This is an, this is an amazing moment in history for us all to be alive. And, you know, it appears to be tough a lot of the time. You know, we're caught up in the details of our life. We're caught up in the hardships of our life. We're caught up, caught up in inner conflicts and old patterns which we're trying to release ourselves from. We see a lot of chaos going on. There's a lot of really, really bad stuff going on in our world. A lot of people, the majority of people in our world, are suffering despite the fact that we, we have all the technology, all the science, all the resources to, to have everybody living um, in, a, in a way which is humane, we're not doing that yet. We're living in a world which is basically not operating very well. And yet, there are those of us, and if you're here, you're definitely on this path, there are those of us who are making the movement within ourselves to something different, to something better, to something more harmonious, to something more compassionate, a more compassionate, more creative, more free way of living together on the planet. And so what I want to do today in this video is just to identify a few characteristics or qualities which you may be able to identify with and which I think therefore make you part of this global tribe in transition. So the first quality is that even though life may be challenging, and it is, that when challenges arise for us, we see them in terms of a bigger picture. We choose to trust that even if something is, it appears to be going wrong in our life, even if something is challenging us to the core, that it is simply a step on the way to a greater wholeness and a greater integration. And I want to give you an example of this. I'll, in fact, I'll give you a couple of examples of, from my own life. A few years ago, I was living in the top of the South Island of um, New Zealand, and it was December. And we'd been having three days of really torrential rain. I've never experienced rain like it. It was absolutely coming down in iron vertical swathes, you know, relentless, pounding on the roof. Didn't stop for three days. And on the third evening, um, my, my, I was living with my friend Maggie. We, would, we just had supper and it was about seven o'clock in the evening. She was standing at the kitchen window doing the washing up. And suddenly she, she shouts out to me, Rose, the earth's moving. And I ran to the window and I saw, yes, it was the, the lawn was undulating like this, like a snake. was big snake was underneath the ground and the lawn was literally moving. And we had a hillside on one side, the house at the back, and the we were in a landslide. The earth was falling down the bank at the back of the house and moving across the lawn. 
And we were out of there. In five minutes, we were out of there. We just packed up into a bag, grabbed what we needed, our purses, our computers, whatever we thought we couldn't live without, a bar of chocolate, a pair of knickers, that kind of thing. We grabbed those and we were out of, out of the house. And, and that's a whole other story, what happened next. But what actually happened, immediately I saw that we were in a crisis, that something life-threatening was happening. I made a decision inside myself and it wasn't something I made up here it was something that happened in here in my whole being I decided that I was going to use this as an opportunity for transformation as an opportunity to move into my next higher level of integration and the next level of my potential that was the choice that was the decision I made and therefore everything that unfolded from that moment unfolded from that intention. So it didn't mean to say that it wasn't scary. It was really scary. We were in a life-threatening situation. We'd lost our home. We were out on the street with nothing but a bag and a car. But at the same time, I chose to just surrender to it and to learn whatever I could from it, to, to, to use as an opportunity to become more skillful. And one of the things I noticed in the, in the following days was that this obviously didn't just affect us, although we were actually one of the few households where we lost our home, but other people, you know, they lost their gardens they'd been working on for, for years. They, you know, the, the streets were torn up, there were great potholes all over the streets. It was, it was a major upheaval for our little community. And one of the things I noticed was that the people who moved into resistance against this, the people who moved into a sort of sense of victimhood of this shouldn't happen, this is terrible, I'm angry about this, they suffered. Whereas those of us who chose to surrender to it, to see it as something which was there to ultimately support and help us, it was scary, it was difficult at times, um, certainly I felt quite traumatised in, in moments, but I didn't suffer in that same way. It, as it, If you like, I was going with the flow of it. So that's the first quality, I think, of somebody who's in transition or consciously in transition, is that we see and receive everything that's happening as being there for our evolution. <laughs> 